What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Shep's Garage video. Welcome back to another Mark 8 GTI video. That is not very common anymore on Shep's Garage, but it is going to be now because today we are going to talk about a new modification I've just done to my Mark 8 GTI. That's right, finally another modification done on this car. I haven't been doing modifications lately uh, because of reasons I'll explain later in this video, of course, but I finally have done something. You probably have already noticed it already, and today we're going to talk about it. First, if you're new to my channel, this is the first time seeing my face on your screen, don't forget to please click that subscribe button down below for more awesome Mark 8 GTI videos just like this one. You guys have been killing it lately with uh, the last couple of videos of content. You guys have been showing lots of support in the comment sections, which is awesome to see. Uh, but I know you guys love the Mark 8 GTI videos the best, and that is what I'm doing uh, for the next few videos, of course. But with that out of the way, let's talk about my newest modification to the, my Mark 8 GTI. And you probably have already seen it already, and that is this up here, the Golf R or Club Sports Mark 8 GTI spoiler. And I don't know about what you guys think, but I think that th this spoiler makes this car look so much better even after when I lowered it and everything this spoiler changed the car so much so today I'm really just going to talk about it get my first initial impressions on it as I just installed this video I just installed this wing yesterday the reason why I didn't do like an unboxing and an install video on this thing is because I actually followed uh, Paul at ShopDapps dot com YouTube channels video I'll put a link down below in the description for it honestly he can probably do anything better than I can do and I really just didn't feel like making a video of something I had did not know how to install so I went over to my friend's house and he helped me install it so shout, shout out to you if you know who you are uh, but after about an hour and a half this is the result and it looks killer. Let's talk about this wing, the price, how you get it, what what is it, etc. So th this wing you can get on the Cl Club Sport GTI and the Mark 8 Golf R and it basically what it does is it basically extends the roof line. So the old wing, which I'll put up a picture of what it looked like previously, the roof line just sort of sloped downwards, whereas this, if you can kind of notice it, it kind of carries the roof line a lot more out, making it a lot better looking. Now, the only, now I do want to talk about the color of this wing, which is black. Now, unfortunately, you can only get these spoilers right now in black. However, on ShopDap's website, for $1,500, you can get it painted. Now, that was my initial plan, was to actually, when I was buying this wing, I was going to get it pre-painted, already primered in Reflex Silver Metallic. Unfortunately, after contacting Paul, Unfortunately, they don't do silver spoilers anymore for some reason. So I had to settle for the black and eventually uh, coming down the line, I will be wrapping this half of the roof black because I have the sunroof on my car and it already looks black from the top. So I think I'm just gonna continue this, wrap this square black and it will look a lot better after that. Now this spoiler was expensive uh, because since it's an OEM part, uh, I got it off of BMP tuning for $1,015. So uh, it is pretty expensive, but in my opinion, well worth it indeed. Now, um, or if you want one in your color other than silver, you can pay $1,500 on shopdap.com to already have it primered and painted um, in the color of your car. Now, the wing in general is super good quality. Uh, it's super easy to install. Uh, the, the video I used is down below in the description, uh, but the only, I would say the the doesn't really have, the only issues I've have found is that since it's black, it's gonna show everything. So that's the first problem, the problem that I firstly encountered. But other than that, this spoiler is very good quality. It's an OEM part at the end of the day, and it actually, oh, the car's locked. Um, give me a second. And the great thing too is because this spoiler doesn't weigh that much more than the stock one, it doesn't really affect the trunk either. It's still 
with the, with the struts it still goes up on its own which is very nice it doesn't it's not super super heavy which is very very nice and as you can see it fits very nicely it looks factory but overall like like i said it's a very good quality part and i'm very very happy with it uh in the long run the pros of it too is I think it really completes the back end of this car how it really should have came from the factory I don't know if it looks wider I think it looks a little bit wider with this wing it looks less small but overall such an improvement on this car overall that's the Club Sport Golf R Mark 8 GTI wing uh, from BMP tuning. I am 100% happy with this wing and I can't wait till the roof is wrapped black to um, really complete this look. However, I also do want to talk about one other modification that I'm doing with this car and let's talk about it. So for the past while, I've been trying to find the perfect wheels for my Mark E GTI and I, the whole theme I'm keeping this car is OEM Plus, so I sort of want to find something very OEM Plus for this car. Now, these wheels to me, as cool as they look, they ain't it for me. I think they look strange, they're not good quality, they just look off in my opinion. And even though the fitment right now just looks amazing, these wheels just ain't it for me. So. I have found wheels and I bought them and I have them currently and I will reveal them to you when they're on the car because I think that in my opinion that's just how I should reveal wheels is on the car, give my first impressions of how they look, ride, etc. Now the reason why I haven't put them on yet is because that I do, I need new front tires very badly let me show you as you can see right now part of my car I just started it but as you can see these are my front tires and they are shot as you can see I am running a, a, a lot of negative camber uh, as you can see this part here is just all starting to get very worn and I don't want to put my new wheels on these tires it just doesn't make sense uh, I sh what I really should be what I really should do is get brand new tires. So uh, I um, I have brand new tires on my new wheels. So that is what I did. I bought a set of brand new tires for this car, and I'm waiting for them to arrive at the shop. I'm going to be installing the wheels at. So once that happens, I this car is going to go there for that and a bunch of other stuff too. Oil change, coolant refill. Uh, alignment so I don't have negative camber as good as it looks it's just not super practical for me and the wheels of course so those are my new wheels update and the mark 8 GTI Club Sport Golf R spoiler whatever you want to call it first impressions hope you guys did enjoy this video and I can't wait to show you guys what this car is going to look like um, down the line with the new wheels and the whole setup and everything. So thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. And of course, peace out.